Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we killed everyone in Waterfall, except for the annoying kid that I actually want to kill. In this episode, we are continuing on through the underground after uh, the underground of the underground after Undyne cut the bridge off. I don't think this was here before. Donation box. Use it. Do not use it for what though? Right. I'm afraid if I use it, I want to find a save point. Like, will I put money in the donation box or do I take it or something? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I have too many. I dog residue. God darn it. Get rid of that. Uh, I want to find a save point and then I'll find out what that's all about. Oh, uh, well, here it is. Determination. Save the game. Go back over here. Because you shouldn't donate if we're doing the genocide route, I would imagine. Hand can't fit inside. Check it again to try donating. Check it again to try donating. Zero G inserted. Do not. Nothing was put inside. So that's how it works. Okay, just want to make sure. And once we enter here, we're going to fight the dummy. And, oh, the ghost usually interferes with this fight. But now we're not friends with the ghost anymore, so... Beat up desktop computer. Inside is empty. Wait a minute. A honk of despair. These are the ghosts. The ghosts. Household items. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one. Oh god. A DVD case for anime. Just desperate claw marks all over the. Are these the ghosts? Items or Alphys's items? Because we didn't fight Nabsta Blue or whatever his name is uh, before Shiren. I don't know. Uh, seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Yes. You punch the dummy at full force. Feels good. <laughs> and he's going to be all angry now. Ta da! <laughs> Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you came along. Oh! 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 Oh. Not only did your actions cause them to leave their home, but now all of their neighbors are gone too! Despicable! 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 You are the worst person I've ever met! I've never been more mad! Gah! My mannequin levels are going off the charts! This. This feeling. Eureka! 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 Human, that moment of unbridled emotion, it allowed me to finally fuse with my body. I'm fully corp corporal now, my lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stomp you. How's that sound? Glad dummy lets you go, he looks so happy. So that, I still having a hard time differentiating Nabstabluke and Shiren. So Nabstabluke was the first one at the beginning of the game, but they were living in the dummy. I never put that together because Shiren does appear again once we're fighting this dummy. And they come out or whatever. So... That's why they just left after we destroyed their home. And then this one... Okay, but now that they're fused with the body, we could probably hurt them now. Because before we weren't able to, I'm pretty sure. So... Go ahead and do it. You won. Earned zero experience and zero gold. Determination. Oh boy. Oh, I really like the ghosty, even though I can never remember the name or who it even is. I can go inside. Okay, so it's not... Were those things in back there in the sewer before, though? I feel like they weren't. So it must be Asherin's, not Asherin. Uh, is it Asherin? No, no, I was like Shiren and Alphys, that was it. Uh, there's no fly in the bike, so there's no DVDs here, okay. Here's internet browsers open to a music sharing forum. Okay. 
Can't take anything here. Uh, I assume we can't open this. It's locked. Up here we have Undyne's house, which we will never be able to enter. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. And then the dummies over here, they're like, what, 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 in the butt, or whatever. And back here's the backtracking segment. The duck is gone? Really? Okay, no ducks for genocide, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll keep going. Up here is the snail farm. All the snails are gone. Uh, the snail race has been evacuated. Very, very sad. I wish we got at least a small glimpse of the ghosty again or something like that, because we didn't... Oh, wait, no, he said he fused with the body, so that means he is dead this time. We killed one of them. How sad. Uh, I wonder if Nabstablook will be the final boss then, because, like, technically they're the only one who got away. Uh, Temi Village. Oh, I have to kill Temi now. I haven't fought any of the mini Thames. I assume that's a thing that's going to pop up at a specific point. You're still here? Does that mean I did something wrong? Fate, threat, fight, hero. Long ago, Asgore and I agreed that escaping would be pointless, since once we left, humans would just kill us. I know I'm not doing the voice, but like, I'm just like intrigued about all this, so I don't, I don't know, I'm just feeling weird about doing voices. I felt a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind, but now I think maybe he was right too, because after all, even though we never escaped, a human's killing us anyway. Ain't that right? It's weird he stayed here even though he knows who we are. I believe you ought to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't. You, I know you can't here. Wah! Knowledge like that is the only reason I've survived. So he knows this isn't a battle, so we can't actually fight him. Fight. Eh, fight you? Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. And besides, these old bones aren't fit for fighting, anywho. Want a jack from you, and I, then I will at least. By talking to you, I'd bought, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. Uh, I wonder if that actually triggered anything. Like, some characters disappeared because I talked to him. I'm not a hero, but I know there's something out there. Someone who will never give up trying to do the right thing no matter what. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know it's true. That someone like that will strike you down. That'd be something if the game ended with us dying. I wouldn't buy your cheatsy garbage at knife point. Uh, crab apple. I still have to buy things though. Uh, his weapons and defense uh, armor aren't good for us, so there's no point in buying these things. Guess I'll just not help him out at all. Talk. So we can't do anything, so we're just gonna leave. Good riddance. So he's just the wise old man who knows that he doesn't need to run away because he can't actually be fought. That's interesting, I suppose. I just worry that it might mean I did something wrong, I don't know. Nobody came. Keep on going. Uh, it's gonna happen eventually, we're gonna have to fight Temi. I really don't want to fight Temi, but it's gonna happen. Nobody came. Hit that. Let's see what the Tem Village is all about. Our one ally in the world. Is she still gonna love us or is she gonna hate us? I'd be heartbroken if she was just gone. I want there to be some sort of dramatic thing. She seems to be such a fan favorite character. Like the Mr. Saturn of this game, but she just doesn't appear. Also, what the fruit is up with this pathway? Uh, nothing? Can we actually get across? Uh, is that how it worked before? Nobody came. Go this way, hit that, and we keep on going. Within can without candles or magic to guide the um them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. Uh, I'm just where are the fruits the Temi fight? I just wanted to be over with so I could stop freaking out about it. And now it's magically dark. Cool. Uh, let's see. How did this work before? Can I, like, get out of here or something? Uh, just gonna go this way. I'm always lost in these parts. I no never know what to talk about. Uh, go over there. I know Temi's, like, uh, southward. Not right here? I thought it was right here. Okay, just cut away to me getting through there because you've seen it before and I just didn't want to waste your time of just hearing me go, Oh, I'm going through here. I don't know what to do. As I'm just the heck is Tem Village. Why is it still dark though? Like, did we get an item that allowed us to see in the dark or whatever? 
Behind you. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this part. But yeah, uh, did we pass Tem Village or not? Nah, is my question. That's on everybody's mind. Seven. Seven human cells. Okay, yeah, we know this part. The power of the seven human cells of King King Asgore Dreamer. So M G Asgore's the king. I had no idea. Undyne, I'll help you fight! <laughs> Yo, Yahoo, Yahoo, you did it. Get through the farmer's seats for a fight. Err, wait. Who's she fighting? Wee, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Nothing really interesting or different with that fight, so no really need to show it. This is when that pathway appears. Uh, if we just go this way, I'm pretty sure Tem Village is in this pathway. I made it to Tem Village. It's in the room with the mushrooms, not the ones with the purple crystals. Okay, so I don't fight the mini Tem though, which is interesting. I was interested in that fight. I didn't see what would happen, but they're just gone. I guess they knew it would be too horrible to fight a Tem. Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village! Rich history of Tem. Uh... Seems like everyone's gone, even that. Oh, you're still here. Feelings of being watched. Statue of Tim Billy Famous Very! Yeah, yeah, I agree. You should check Tim Shopper. Oh, hey, you should check out Tim Shopper. Uh, I guess we'll go in. Hi, hey, welcome to the Tim Shopper! At least you're not afraid of me. What could we buy? We could. Buy Temflake. Temflake on sale. Temflake expensive and Temflake premium. No more colleague. Uh, heals 2 HP. Uh, it's the quality one for whatever reason. Uh, talk, say hello. Hoi, I'm Timmy. Uh, about yourself. Hoi, I'm Timmy. Timmy history. Customs of deep history. About shop. Yeah, yeah, go to them shop. -o. Doesn't tell us about your deep history and all that jazz. Sell uh, the tough glove. Whoa! You got the tough gloves! Oh, I got the, get the tough gloves, but I got the pay for calling! You don't even know the tough gloves! Yeah, yeah! Uh, at least you're the little this bit of sunshine that I needed in my life. Boy! Use the box. Uh, how do I exchange all this jank? All right, Timmy, if you thought one tough glove was great, how's about I give you two tough gloves? You don't really seem to care all that much. Bandage, stick, toy knife, ribbon, and mandana. Thanks, purchase! Uh, will buying from Timmy affect the genocide run? I don't think it will. Like, the Temflake Premium is only available here during the Genocide run, so I feel like it should work. Temflake. We'll, we'll buy it. We'll see if it works. Hopefully, uh, this doesn't ruin anything. Thanks, purchase! Temflake on sale! Temflake expensive. And Temflake quality. Uh, nothing changed. It was just a joke. Okay, sell it. All for 2G. They're all the same. Oh, I got to have the Temflakes, but I've got to pay for Kaleg! You just sold them to me, and you think it's amazing that I have Temflakes. And you changed the selling price from 2G to, free, to 3G. Yeah, yeah! 2G, 2G, and 2G. Sure, why not? Exit. Hopefully that didn't ruin the genocide run. Determination doesn't look like it. Hopefully that saving won't be regret regretted later. Uh... Just take out all this jank and head forward. Also, let it be known that I only just now realized that if you examine the lanterns, it turns the lights back on. So for all those times that I've been lost in these stinking pathways, it was all for nothing. Cool. 
So now that we made it through there, I'm probably gonna have to edit all of that out because I was just spending so much thinking time walking around in there and be like, where are the Fruit Stem Village again? I don't like how the laser turned off. It's all bad and stuff. I don't remember the save point being here originally, but I guess we'll take it. This is where the kid falls, right? I think so. Yeah, this looks familiar. Excited to see you fall. It's like my one, my least, this is my official least favorite character in the entire game just because he, he's a no, no, wait, no, the shop salesman from Metaton's, uh, stinking, uh, thing Mahuzi is my least favorite character because he's stinking terrifying. I'm really hopeful that he evacuates his shop because I do not want to look at him. Undyne told me to stay away from you. She said you hurt a lot of people. But, yo, that's not true, right? Yo, why won't you answer me? I, I, am what's with that weird expression? Oh my god, do I push him off? Oh man. Man, my heart's pounding right out of my chest. What would Undyne do? Yo, you better just stop right, right where you are. Because if you want to hurt anyone else, you're, you're going to have to get through me first. And, and. Oh wow, we actually fight him. In my way. Only one thing to do. Kill the monster kid. Oh my god. Please show me. Oh! Undyne, you're... You're hurt. Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I... I'll take care of this. We're gonna find out that's like Alf's sister or something. Get out of here! It's nothing. No, somehow, with just one hit, I'm already, already, d darn it, Papyrus, Alphys, Asgore, just like that, I, I've failed you. Oh, she's still here. No, my body feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instant, I'll scatter into a million pieces. But deep, deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll, you'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters, humans, Everyone! Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams, vanquished in an instant. But I won't let you do that! Right now, everyone in the world, I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal. To defeat you! Human, no, whatever you are, for the sake of the whole world, I, Undyne, We'll strike you down! Ooh, that's a new suit. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. The heroine appears. That looks stinking cool. Is it gonna be an actual fight? Undying the undying. Let's find out. Oh, it is an actual fight this time. Interesting. But still very slow. Oh, jeez. I shouldn't have said I shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. My god, he took away half my health. The wind is howling. Oh, my stinking Christ. So, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for us in the genocide run. Uh, there are still some fights. Of course, Undyne would be the one true fight. Uh, hit, hit, hit. One, five, five, four. Oh, jeez. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh jeez. Okay, okay. Uh, back to normal heart. Uh, go ahead and use uh, the snow piece. Ate the snowman piece, recover 45 HP. Don't even care about saving the snowman anymore. Uh, so it's okay to use that healing item. Oh god! Uh, one bath, another bad thing about the genocide run is that I have more HP than usual, so not every item is a full heal item anymore. Uh, one, four, nine, one. Uh, oh jeez. Oh god. Oh god. 
Keep dodging, keep dodging. Yeah, back to that good old Midnight Beyond stutter of just freaking out and not knowing what to say. Uh, eat that monster candy. Okay, return HP. I don't think we'll get to a point where, just, where she stops attacking. We just, it's an actual fight. It's hard mode. We gotta actually win. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. Oh, Jesus! And yeah, I saw that coming. Good thing I'm allowed to die in this mode. Yo, dude, I I heard some things and what? Look over here? What for? <laughs> and yeah, you're you're here. Her and it's nothing. Blah blah blah. I'll take care of this. Get out of here. You you're gonna have to try a little harder than that. I really don't like this in the slightest, and I just sort of realized- Oh, I hate the yellow arrows. I hate the yellow arrows! Couldn't even get back to where I was commentating. God darn it. This is gonna be a fight. My god. Oh boy. This is gonna be something. On. I officially don't feel bad about killing Undyne anymore. It's taking sinking forever. Like every time when I get back to the part where I was commentating, I die again anyway, so Ugh. God darn it. Oh. oh. Why couldn't I get the 10 armor in this run? Ugh. Oh goody, I made it past that part. Eat another snow piece. Now watch me die immediately after, cause she's doing it again. Oh, Jesus Christ, how do I sting and win this fight? Oh, we're halfway there, but oh, I hate the backwards arrows. I want to, I want the backwards arrows to die. You can't win this. There's no way I'm gonna win this! What now, son? That was cool. Okay, now it's gonna go all downhill because I resume commentary. And, oh jeez, I hate the slow ones, I hate the slow ones. Okay, I'm down to one stinging health thing. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's so bad, so fast! Oh, no, 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 no! So stinking many! No! How are you expected to do this? It gets harder and harder. But I am somehow getting farther and farther. I hate that, like, every time you resume, you go through here, and then you're stuck on this little ledge, you have to hit down just a little bit, and then walk. It should've just been positioned slightly higher, because my stinking god, this is annoying. Thank you. 
I could have done it, I could have done it. I could have done it, I could have done it. Jesus. I've never wanted to swear so badly my entire life. It's official. I hate Undyne. And I have no regrets with this genocide run now. Darn it. So even that power, it wasn't enough.
If you... If you think I'm gonna give up hope, you're wrong. Cause I've got my friends behind me. Alf has told me that she would watch me fight you. And if anything went wrong, she would evacuate everyone. By now she's called Asgore and told him to absorb the six human souls. And with that power, his world will live on. That was a monstrous fight. I am livid right now. I am... Oh my god. I don't seem it because I was screaming and smashing things so stinking loudly and hard and... Every time I died. And then it became like a zen thing in that final battle when I was just like dodging everything. I'm so happy that's finally over. I need a save point now. I need to hurry up and save. And take a stinking break. Before I break this stinking computer and TV and the entire world. I need to destroy the world before I destroy the world. Next time on Undertale. We are continuing on to Hotland and murdering everything in sight. This is Murder Night and never again, and I will never see you later until next time, except I'm not good at sounding evil. Good night.